<laughs> time once again for leftovers. It's the segment uh, Time Magazine called completely unnecessary. <laughs> if it weren't for the hot host. Oh my God. I kid, of course. It's where we read the jokes we didn't use this week. As with any leftovers, you never know if they're any good until you dig in. And as always, it's my first time reading these, so here we go. All right. This week, Nancy Pelosi had to nudge people to clap during a White House event, telling the audience that's an applause line. But in fairness to them, they probably couldn't read her facial cues. <laughs> On Thursday, two buses of migrants sent by Texas Governor Greg Abbott arrived outside Kamala Harris's residence in D.C. But just like the old days, Kamala saw a bunch of minorities and threw them in prison. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> a new report claims that woke librarians are teaching kids to be the next generation of Antifa. But experts warn that could backfire one day with a peaceful protest where they burn the library down. <laughs> Court documents reveal Hunter Biden is trying to lower his child support payments to his love child with a former exotic dancer, although he says he's not concerned about his kid's future because strippers make a lot of money. <laughs> that, was, that was good. <laughs> that was really good. Tuesday, James Taylor sang at the White House Inflation Reduction Act celebration, but the party got off to a bad start when Taylor said, Here's a new song I've been working on. <laughs> the Social Security Administration is looking to boost payments over 1700 bucks next year for millions of older Americans. My Aunt Doris already says she can't wait to send that money to her friend, the Nigerian prince. <laughs> Some critics are saying that Brendan Fraser's new movie, The Whale, shouldn't be seen by fat people. But so far, ticket sales have been strong since many moviegoers had to purchase two seats to see it. <laughs> I saw that coming, and I still went for it. <laughs> Terrible. It's amazing. While vacationing in Wales, a woman checked into an Airbnb to find a sheep in her bedroom. What? Or as the Taliban call it, the honeymoon suite. <laughs> But why are these in my monologue? A nursing home in Taiwan has apologized for hiring an exotic dancer to give seniors in wheelchairs lap dances. Erotic lap dances? Where do they think they are? A children's library? <laughs> They're so good. Although the dancer later complained that one guy tried to pay for a lap dance with a coupon. <laughs> Former CNN host Brian Stelter has been hired by Harvard to convene discussions on threats to democracy. Stelter says he passed on Cornell and Columbia because Harvard had the best meal plan. Oh my God, yes. It's never over. It's never, never over. over. For students, it'll be the first time since the Irish famine <laughs> that someone has to pay this much attention to a potato. Although... <laughs> <laughs> Although Stelter's new gig is the most surprising Ivy League hire since Harvey Weinstein became Yale's campus gynecologist. Oh wow. Ooh. Jeez Louise. Awesome. And finally, health officials in North Dakota issued a rabies alert this week after a woman walked into a bar carrying a raccoon. But after further investigation, turns out it was just Jimmy Failure. <laughs> 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 